first video that I am filming with my brand new camera, so if some color is a little bit wonky, please bear with. And also, annoyingly, this is a video that I have to film at the end of the day when my makeup is crusty, dusty, and musty, so please ignore that too. I did go and see my grand today, and she asked me when I got my boob job done. Um, I've never had a boob job, so I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. So uh, that's playing on my mind. <laughs> but today I am updating my Pan That Face Palette or Pan Those Face Palettes multiple because I have these two bad boys that I am panning this year. I did manage to whack out my Huda Beauty Summer Solstice Palette that I was panning last year. And now these are my only two commitments for Pan That Face Palette, which feels amazing. And I'm really, really excited to say that I have made some really amazing progress this month. I am so excited about both of these palettes, but just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel, and like I said, I've just upgraded my camera, so exciting times, exciting times here on the Caitlin Costello YouTube channel. Okay, so these two are duos, so there are four products in this whole project. So I'm gonna start with, hmm, who should we start with? I'll start with Coco Blend. So this is the gold and brown palette. This is what it looked like last month. You can see we had a highlight and a cool tone blush in this palette. And you could also see we had a pretty big pan in this highlight, which was amazing because we are only in the first part of the year. So having a big pan in this highlight was so amazing for me. I feel so happy about that and I really was going into this month strong. And this is what we look like today. Hopefully you can see we have expanded the pan in the dessert, which is the highlighter. And we have got a little bit of disturbance in Mastery of Chocolate as well, which is the blush. I'm really, really happy with this progress. I think this is going pretty damn good. Good, what do you think? Let me know. So look at this. I'm so over the moon with this progress. There's probably like a quarter of this done already, which makes me so happy. It is the highlighter that I mainly use every single day. I do dabble in other highlighters in other project pans as well, but mainly it is this palette through and through. So the dessert I have used 16 times this month for a grand total total of 59 uses in the project. Really, really good going. I'm very happy about that. And then the blush, which is called Mastery of Chocolate, I have used six times this month for a total of 15 uses in the project. So something I will say is the blushes in both of these palettes are a little bit neglected. And that is because I came up with a little bit of a hack with my Modern Renaissance palette. If you watch my Pan That Eyeshadow palette update, you will know this hack that I figured out. If I mix all of the shades from my Modern Renaissance together, it makes a really nice blush, which is what I'm wearing today. And that is what I've been wearing most days, just because I really, really, really want to finish my Modern Renaissance very, very soon. It was my Pan That Eyeshadow palette for 2023 and it has rolled into this year. So the sooner I can get that out, the better. So that has been my primary blush. And I mean, I'm making amazing progress with the Modern Renaissance that way. So swings and roundabouts. But this project has definitely slacked because of that. I'm still trying to get a few uses every month on these blushes, but it's definitely having to share the spotlight. So we have lost quite a lot of weight on this this month, which is amazing. So last month we weighed 45.16 grams and this month we weigh 44.79 grams, meaning this month we have lost 0.37 grams. That is more than we lost last month, which I'm very, very excited about. And I have not done the math to see how much weight we have lost in total. Bear with. We've lost a total of 1.8 grams in this palette since the start of the year. I think that is amazing. I'm very, very happy about that. One whole gram over a gram. I think that's a win and I am so excited to keep going with this palette. Have the highlight done at least by the end of the year. I think that's gonna be a really good goal 
for the blushes. I'm aiming to have pan on both of them. I really don't think we'll have both of them finished, but we've got ages to think about that and I'm not fussing just yet. Okay, let's move on to the Spice of Life palette. So this is what this palette looked like last month. You can see we have just hit pan on the bronzer, which is called Sweet Relief. And there was a pan on Simply Delicious. However, I'm not counting that because I did accidentally gouge my nail into it. So it's not an organic pan. I'm not counting it as pan, but we definitely did have organic pan in the bronzer, which was a big shock to me because I had barely used this bronzer before this year. So only in a few months, I had gone from practically unused to pan. And this is what we look like today. This is crazy. I'm so excited about the progress in this palette. Sweet Relief has expanded so much and Simply Delicious really doesn't look that much different. I haven't used it that much, which hey ho, I've been through the reasons why. It's the same reasons as the other blush. <laughs> look at this pan. How exciting is this? This is huge pan and I can't stop looking at this. I actually forgot that last month we had only just hit pan in this. So I just looked at the progress pictures and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. So Sweet Relief, I have used 12 times this month for a total of 42 uses in the project. This has also been pushed to the side a little bit my modern renaissance as well. So I've come up with another hack, another Franken hack. I know, another one. <laughs> Basically what I like to do is mix Realgar, which is a bright orange eyeshadow with a shade called Pug, which I am also trying to finish, which is like a, a dusty taupey kind of shade. And I mix them together and that makes a really nice bronzer. And that is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I know, I'm not even using these palettes today. I'm using the highlight. I'm using the highlight, give me that. But only 12 uses and we've expanded the pan so much. I think, spoiler alert, uh, Pug is nearly finished. So I think once Pug is done, I'm gonna really go hard on this bronzer and maybe we can have it nearly finished by next month because it is so thin in this pan, it is ridiculous. And I think that would be such a nice goal this early in the year as well. That would be amazing. And then Simply Delicious, I've used four times this month for a total of 11 uses in the project. We've been through it. Okay, these blushes are going to be a little bit neglected, I think, for the first part of this year, especially. Just while Modern Renaissance is still clinging to dear life, these two blushes are gonna be, I don't know, a little bit, well, a little bit off to the side, but I'm not that worried just because the progress that we have got in this bronzer in such a short amount of time is so major that I'm hoping that the blushes kind of go semi quickly. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe that is just wishful thinking. <laughs> but this has also lost a lot of weight. So last month we weighed 45.55 grams and this month we weigh 45.13 grams, meaning we lost 0.42 grams. And let me just tippy tap on my calculator to find out our total weight loss for the year. A round 1.5, well round kind of, I'm not good at math. Okay, it's kind of round. <laughs> it's round to the nearest 0.5. 1.5 grams lost in this in a few months is amazing. I'm so excited and I'm so happy about that. This palette in particular just makes me smile. It really makes me smile, I'm so happy. So both of these are doing really, really, really well. And I'm just so excited about this project. I was really nervous about rolling these in. You guys did choose these palettes for me to pan. I wanted to pan a different palette, but you guys said, no, 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 we wanna see these. And I'm actually really excited about them now. I think it was definitely the right choice. You guys were right, okay? I'm saying it, I'm saying it. You guys were right, I was wrong. So next month, I think what I wanna do is really focus on this bronzer. I think we can get this close to being done next month, which will be insane. That will be insane. Just keep working on this highlighter. I don't think it's gonna be like finished or anything anytime soon and just keep plodding along with these. That's all I can do really. I'm so happy with my progress. What do you guys think? Are you doing a pan that face palette? What palette are you panning? And are you getting any great progress? 
I'm so happy with these. I'm so happy. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is it. This is the end of this video, guys. I feel like this has been really short. I feel like I need to say more, but I think because I've been updating my Huda palette so long and I've had two, technically three palettes to think about, this just feels really short to me now. <laughs> Maybe I need another thing rolling. No, no, I don't, no. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that thought right there. So this is the end of this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, a like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me and I upload every single day. I do indeed. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.